Good afternoon, everyone. You're now with me, Mina Ruben, in the segment of TVS Noon News, 26 February. Sarawak aspires to become a net exporter of high-quality agriculture produce and products by 2030 to meet food demand domestically and internationally. Chief Minister Dato' Patinggi Abang Zohari Tun Abang Haji Openg said 80% of the state's land mass was covered by primary and secondary forests that could be exploited and developed for agriculture activities. And 80% covered with forests. And our GDP is roughly about 114 billion ringgit. Whereas our GDP per capita, 46,500 ringgit. And our extended trade is 116.3 billion ringgit. Against that economic background, and the size of our land mass, there are a lot of space for us to move forward. In Sarawak, we have only a population of 2.7 million. 2.7. Compared with Netherlands, compared with England, they have more than what we have. But in terms of land size, more or less, Netherlands, of course, we are bigger. <coughs> But in England, compared with England, we are more or less the same size. And that is the background of Sarawak. And therefore, I think uh, we have the resources that we have, especially our biodiversity, in terms of our environment, and there are lots of uh, areas for us to explore and work together. He said this at the Sarawak Dialogue Team, Sarawak, the bridge to new beginnings in Kuching. According to him, certain issues needed to be addressed while harnessing the vast potential of the state's agriculture resources. Investigation papers on rapper Nam Wee's video clip which allegedly touch on the sensitivities of the multiracial society in the country will be sent to the Deputy Public Prosecutor's Office today. Inspector General of Police Tan Sri Muhammad Fuzi Harun said the remand on Nam Wee expires today and it depends on the Deputy Public Prosecutor whether to extend the remand or not. He told this in a media conference which was held after the monthly assembly at Bukit Aman, organised by the Commercial Criminal Investigation Division. PAS, together with the party's strategic partners in Gagasan Sejahtera, launched the 14th General Election Manifesto for Kedah. It was launched by PAS President Datuk Sri Abdul Hadi Awang. The manifesto with the team Solutions for People's Well-Being contained 15 core agendas which encompass, among others, administration, religious affairs, education, welfare, economy, water and housing, women and family development, youth and human development, racial integration, security and environment. In his speech, Datuk Sri Abdul Hadi Awang expressed confidence of past recapturing Kedah and administering the country in the coming general election. In Kedah, PAS has announced that the party will contest all 15 parliamentary and 36 state seats. Well, that wraps up our TVS new news segment for today. I'm Mano Ruben. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more news and updates in tvsoar.com. Anytime, anywhere.